All right, it's breakfast time. Cameraman's not here yet, so this is what we're working with. We've got eggs with some vegetables, so there's some uh, onion and sweet potato and eggplant in there. And I'm probably gonna put some spinach and mushrooms on here in a second. And then we've got 150 grams of uncooked oats, which is a lot. Uh, then cook them in the microwave with some water, put a bit of cinnamon on and a tablespoon of honey. And I already finished uh, some bone broth for some collagen there. I usually warm that up and kind of have it instead of coffee, warm me up in the morning. That's it. Torpedo, torque torpedo. I end up weighing another 50 pounds. So it's a total of 70 pounds on the old back and then run up this hill. Kind of marked it on Google Maps. I think it's like uh, 200 meters or something. So it feels way longer when you walk. I'm not going all the way up. Oh no. no. No, I've got a distance that we kind of agreed upon, coaches and I. So it should be just long enough that you can kind of start with a sprint and still survive and you don't have to like pace it too much. So. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day to be fit. It's a good day to be active. Morale is high. Spirits are high. Oh. Yeah, like I was, like I was saying before, like I was saying before, I don't ever remember feeling this way for like swimming or volleyball or any other sport I ever played, but with, uh, maybe it's just because I take it more seriously now that I'm older, but it's always this feeling of like, you don't feel like you're ready for these competitions because you never know what you're gonna have to do. So there's this kind of, there's a couple days or a week or so leading up to the competition. At some point in there, there's always this freak out week where you're just like, you're kind of panicking. You feel like you haven't done enough. You haven't done enough of this. You're not ready for that. And then you kind of start mellowing out. And so last time you filmed, I was a little bit in that stage. <laughs> <laughs> where it's just like, oh, everything, the sky is falling, and now it's like, all right, I'll be fine. Like, I'm pretty fit right now, and, you know, I feel like I've felt before every other competition that's went well, so it'll be fine. There's still that risk of something coming up you're not ready for, but, I mean, everyone's in that boat. You can't, you can't do everything, you know? Like, ideally, I'd run up this hill once a week. <laughs> But then it's like, oh, ideally I'd do muscle-ups five times, you know, it's just, just, it never ends. And then at a certain point you're like, oh, that's, that's called training. You have to split that up and then you get as much as you can on everything that's important and hope it's enough. Alright, so first little workout's done. I'm gonna go back home and start the next one, but before that, I got kiwi and an apple. I eat the kiwi with the skin on it. A lot of people don't. Someone told me you could. Never look back. Uh, 250 grams of cooked sweet potato, 350 grams of cooked rice, and then uh, 30 grams of protein, which today it's usually some type of meat. Uh, right now these are some turkey meatballs that Claire cooked. I made them. Ma Claire made them. Um, you made them, sorry. You did also I cook, also cook cooked them. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> cooking implies making. But, uh, Usually it's just, I mean, this is just like turkey mitts that was left over or, yeah, I mean, 30 grams of protein in the form of meat, uh, which, you know, I think in this case is 115 grams of um, meatball, but yeah. hot sauce.
so this is first lunch, and then usually we'll have something like this again, or a smoothie, kind of depending on the day and what's more convenient, right? Bone apple tea. Anytime Brent shares a picture of his food on Instagram stories, people always reply and they're like, oh, there's not a lot of food. I can't believe you're only eating that much food. But like the bowl is just so much bigger than a regular sized bowl. People have no idea. <laughs> yeah, so these are like bowl plates. You like have to post something to show like the yeah. scale. <laughs> Here's a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a cell phone. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we, we love these bowls. Took them took a long time to find them, these bowl plates. <laughs> I knew exactly what I wanted and I looked for probably like years, several years, and then eventually I found exactly what I, what I was looking for. And that's pretty much all we use. <laughs> Feels like someone put sandpaper and then vinegar on my lips. <laughs> There's not even really any vinegar in this. is good. It's good stuff. Sandpaper and then lime juice. This is it. This is the secret. Five sets of handstand walk and four cleans. So when we're at this end, we'll do it with a barbell. And when we're at the other end, we'll do it with sandpaper. And that's it. Three, two, one, go. Take me 30 seconds to finish the whole thing. So, got 20 grams of protein here uh, with ascent recovery water or just powdered protein, 20, 25 grams. And then this is water, a bit of added sodium and um, carbs. So like a carb powder, total of 60 grams of carbohydrates in here. And this here is water. So this will be for after, but I'll kind of drink this as I warm up, and then as soon as I'm done, I'll finish it. grams of oats, two dates, <laughs> a scoop of whey protein, got the strawberry protein from a scent, and then got a handful of berries. Alright, we're back to 
training, uh, eight minute EMOM, uh, four strict handstand push ups, four kipping handstand push ups, and then 20 calories on the air bike. Uh, just an opportunity to do more handstand push ups, which uh, I love. And then five rounds for time, bit of a kitchen sink workout, a little bit of everything, just lots of shoulders and obviously midline core. So, legless rope climb, normal rope climb, 10 burpees to a box, 15 push ups, 15 GHD sit ups, 300 meters skiered five rounds, so it'll take a little while, get me nice and sweaty. And we are eating, so this is the food episode, this is a peach, it's a piece of fruit. And then about seven dates, uh, just kind of throughout the workout when I'm done. And yeah, let's get into it, let's get training. Before I start this next workout, a little uh, disclaimer, I was gonna put this at the beginning of the video, but whatever. Uh, this isn't advice, right? This isn't like, I'm right, you're wrong. I don't necessarily think I'm right, this is just what I ate today, this is kind of, what I've been eating, give or take, for the last couple of years, but constantly kind of adjusting it. I'm honestly making this video because people eat this stuff up, uh, literally. Uh, there's a, I, uh, people eat this stuff up, pun intended. That's what I was going for. Um, but I mean, usually with these videos, you get a lot of people commenting like, oh, he's doing this wrong, he's doing this right. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying this is what you should do. This isn't advice, this isn't like, it's just, this is just what I'm eating, you know? Um, there's stuff I want to try in this next year, a couple little things I want to change up and see how they work for me. But, uh, you know, I'm me, I'm 30 years old, I'm like six foot two, about 222, 21 pounds right now in a competition. Before competition, I'll lean out like a little bit just by a couple pounds, and I'm gonna basically eat what I'm eating now, probably just even more carbohydrates and less fat. Um, for those comps and uh but yeah so that's just kind of a little disclaimer don't like don't take this as like this is what i need to do or try to match my calories or anything like that i mean i'm me and this is what seems to work for me um i've tried some other things that haven't really felt good and um so yeah let's uh do a workout yeah! Astro. Hey, hey. She's in love with who I am Back in high school I used to bust it to the dance yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands I did have a zen, 13 hours till I land Had me out like a light, 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 light So inevitably, so inevitably with a video like this, people always ask, oh, what about cheat meals? Like surely you don't eat like this all the time. And a lot of that I think is people just trying to justify what they want to do. And it's like, oh, if I see my favorite athlete eat apple pie or, you know, I don't know, like ice cream or something, it'll justify that I should eat ice cream and I can be fit too. So for me, I just look at the season in, in seasons and in, in waves. So like, you know, leading up to a competition, what you see is pretty much what I eat. Like if I'm feeling like I really want to, you know, a cheat meal, I'm going to have some dark chocolate or some peanut butter, um, you know, more, more fruit. And basically what we have in the house is what I eat. So when we get groceries, I tell Claire, I'm like, don't buy anything naughty or else I'm going to eat it. <laughs> um, I just want to reduce the risk of inflammation leading up to a competition, just fuel myself really well. But then, and you know, we'll have like banana pancakes or something, or, you know, make some like gluten-free waffles once a week. But, um, and then in the off season when, you know, it's not as important, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll eat out or, you know, buy some like corn chips or buy some potato chips or we'll, you know, get some French fries and air fry them or something like that. And, you know, eat out, you know, every couple weeks. But, but yeah, I mean, what you, what you saw today is pretty much what I've been eating, you know, leading up to the games and that's what I'll be eating at the games. And that's, you know, to me, it's like, I saw this thing, there's this US Olympian who isn't going to the Olympics because she smoked marijuana. And there's, you know, a bit of controversy around it, whatever, whatever. And it's like, what do you want? Do you want to be an Olympian or do you want to smoke marijuana? <laughs> and like, I, I never smoked weed and I don't plan to, but it's like, same with me. It's like, oh, do you, you know, do you want to eat a bunch of chocolate bars or do you want to kick ass at the CrossFit Games? I mean, it's my job and when I weigh the two, I'm like, oh, I can eat chocolate bars every day of the year when I'm retired, if I want to. And I can, you know, eat chocolate bars more frequently when in the off season, like, if I go to the gas station, I'd usually, you know, buy a little something, but right now, a couple weeks before the games, I eat really clean. A couple weeks before semis, I eat really, really clean. Just reduce the risk of having a sore stomach or inflammation. So that's my cheat meal answer. 
and that's pretty honest. What do you think, Claire? Is that honest? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. What do I? Yeah. What do I do off season when I'm when I'm feeling when I feel like having some fun? Uh, Brent loves ice cream, and he eats a lot of just plain unsalted corn chips and salsa. But it's very much if I buy something, I have to be okay with him eating it because he has no self-control. So usually we just avoid buying things. Yeah. All together, yeah. Because if there's a liter of ice cream, it's going to be gone in a day yeah. or two. If there's a big bag of corn chips, no matter how big it is, if once I start, I don't really have much self-control. So we just don't fill the house with anything that's not really fueling me. Yeah. Yeah, lots of ice cream. I'd say that's the... The number one in the off season, you'll go into a gas station and come out with two different ice cream bars and just go to town. <laughs> yeah, dude. One year we drove to the, we drove to regionals. This was 2016, 17. Yeah, it was in uh, Tacoma, Seattle, which was like I don't know, eight or ten hours from here. Yeah, it was, I know. A long day. it was a long, it was a long day. And so when we drove home, we probably stopped, you know, for gas to stretch our legs. I probably how many ice creams do you think I bought there? I'd say at least six. <laughs> but he'd also just missed out on the games by a point. So it was like, he was a little heartbroken, eating his feelings a little bit. It was like, I don't know, warm enough to justify ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say four. No, I didn't feel like that. <laughs> it's Robbie. It's Robbie. This is my magic stretching ball. Two hundred and fifty grams of cooked white rice, three hundred grams of cooked sweet potato, vegetables, and some ground bison, actually, which mm. was just already cooked. So, bon appetit! Mm. It's amazing it all fits in my stomach, you know. Again, the bowl just doesn't really do justice, probably. No. It makes my hands look small. <laughs> oh, Brent has really small hands. That's a normal size bowl. It's like, no, it's a, it's a plate bowl. All right, thanks for watching. This is the end of the YouTube video of a full day of eating. Oh, I got my hat on Mighty Max style there. Um, yeah, CrossFit Games coming up. So July 27th is when it starts. That's a Wednesday. Uh, feel free to watch live games.crossfit.com or uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting and my wife will help me post during the competition to keep you guys updated on where I'm at. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have some more YouTube videos maybe coming up in the future, but uh, yeah. See ya.